Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Maths Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips, and in this video, I'm showing you, or we're showing you, how to demonstrate Pythagoras' theorem using what's called Perigal's dissection. Now, how I got this arrangement of shapes within the blue square uh, is perhaps a subject for another tutorial, but you can probably figure it out from looking. Uh, I've got a line here that's parallel to this edge of the square. I actually used a copy of this square and locked a corner to the centre of the blue square and did a similar thing over here and uh, then just use the, the BC pen tool to trace around these shapes and produce quite a few of them. Okay, now to demonstrate uh, that the area of the red square is the same as the area of the green and the blue square we can simply drag things up here. Now you might think I've lost the green square, it's at the back so I'll just click this icon to bring it to the front and then I'll just drag, look I think I have to do this with all of them so I'll just click bring to the front and snap it into the corner there. Do likewise with this one, bring to the front and snap it in there. I'll just shift click to do the last two together, bring them both to the front, then click this one here, drag it into position till it snaps. You don't really need the snapping tool, you can do it by eye, but you can see I've got cusp nodes and intersections turned on there and centers of objects. And Quite clearly, the area of the green square and the blue square add up to that of the red square underneath. So, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, I guess you could say. That completes this demonstration of Pythagoras' theorem. Once again, thanks for watching.